All right, so there is the sketch. And the first thing I do is just kind of get the big shapes in place, and then I can come and be more specific. Started adding like a smaller rock here and another one here. Um, it's a lot easier to do that once I've got all the big shapes in place. Uh, and now I'm gonna start laying in the darks. All right, so I'm going with the usual dark mixture here, ultramarine with some alizarin crimson, and I'm kind of leaning the mix towards red and thinning with a bit of liquid and odorless mineral spirits. All right, so I've just looked for the darkest darks, um, mostly around the base of the rocks where they meet the water. And then also there's some trees over to the right-hand side here. I'm kind of pushing them over into the composition. I may bring the trees out a little bit, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do the rock color first. All right, so I'm starting with this warm gray here, uh, which is a mixture of alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, uh, with a touch of uh, yellow ochre to kind of warm it up. And I'm starting with a mid value here. I just want to get the, 
basic color down and cover the panel and then I can start fine-tuning colors from there. On the right hand side of the rock here there seems to be more blue so I just added some blue to the mix. Okay, so now I'm mixing up some color for the water and my typical go-to color is ultramarine with a touch of burnt sienna. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so for the sky, I'm using ultramarine, titanium white, and then I'm just mixing a little bit of gray from the rocks in there to kind of dull it down. I'm using liquid, of course. So now I've got it more or less roughed in. There's still some, obviously some uh, areas to cover up over here. All right, so I'm gonna put some of the white water in using uh, titanium white with a touch of dioxazine purple in it. I want to make sure that the water gets lighter as it goes towards the horizon. So that's what I'm doing right now is just kind of adding white to this portion. So I've got my water, the color I use for my water, added some titanium white, and then I'm just going to uh, put some simple, strong strokes here to try to lighten it up. And I'll work on this a little bit longer and then we'll go back to the studio and take a look. All right, so here is what I finished up with. And I spent probably three and a half hours on this painting, uh, which is a little longer than normal for me. You know, as I mentioned, I kind of changed things around compositionally, like these trees were actually further over to the right. Uh, but I like the idea of bringing some of those cypress in uh, into the picture. I'm glad that I went with a 16 by 20. It allowed me to kind of focus on all these little rock patterns. A lot of these little rocks were a challenge. I kept going back and forth, kind of fixing them. Uh, if this was bigger, maybe, you know, 25 by 30 or something, it would probably have been easier. So maybe I'll go back. Uh, I do like this composition and this view. Uh, so maybe I'll go back and, and do it again with a, a slightly larger panel. Yeah, I was kind of looking for shifts in color and maybe pushing the color a little bit without exaggerating too much because, you know, it, it was an overcast day and I wanted it to feel like an overcast day, but I didn't want it to be completely dull and lifeless either. So I did kind of push the warm, cool relationship between the, you know, the rocks and the water. I did add some cobalt teal in there. I did see like when the waves right around the white water, oftentimes there's this nice blue green, although I exaggerated it maybe a little bit, but it still looks natural to me. It does look like the scene. It looks like the, the location. And then the other thing that I, I was paying attention to is, you know, there's more moisture in the atmosphere as it goes off into the distance. So the water gets lighter and lighter. 
Oftentimes I think I lighten it up enough and I don't. So this time I, I lightened up the sky and the distant water uh, a bit more than I usually do. And I feel like it did actually create a nice feeling of uh, depth and atmosphere. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. I just posted a video reviewing the work of Jean Mannheim, who was a California Impressionist. So if that sounds interesting, check it out. Uh, other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.